Hi, my name is uh, Tony Fleur, I'm the uh, Group Body Shop Manager at Hawkeye Body Centre. Um, I just wanted to give you some brief information as to what we do here. Firstly, we repair all the makes and models of cars that Holcroft cover, i.e. Volvo, Mazda, Nissan, etc. But in addition to that, we do repair other makes um, along the lines of Audi, BMW, Mercedes. So we cover a full range of vehicles. We work for all the leading insurance companies, and the work we do is guaranteed to, to maintain the manufacturer's uh, specifications. Um, we go from a range of new vehicles to, we've done antique vehicles. The repairs we carry out are all within the manufacturer specifications. We use the likes of Thatcham to get our information and data. We do the estimator and our tech systems which can be imaged and the estimates and images sent directly to the insurance company. So we can cut out a lot of the aggravation that comes from making a claim. The main objective from our perspective is to get the car repaired back to its pre-accident condition and make sure that the vehicle is safe and is fit for use. We use nothing but genuine parts. All the parts we use are from the main dealers and the repairs we carry out within the main dealer specifications. We spend quite a lot of time working alongside insurance companies to try and cut down the, the aggravation that customers can have with regard to delays in getting authorization. We try and pencil everything in to the diary so we can move forward as quickly as we possibly can. All of the work we do, as I say, is guaranteed. All of our technicians are fully skilled. They go through vehicle manufacturing training and they also go through what's called um, industry training. So company ATA is a, a, a classic um, example of the type of training we do. And that is training based on a broader spectrum of vehicles other than just the whole group of vehicles. Some of the tips we would say with regard to being involved in accident, the first thing we would say is make sure when you leave the vehicle that you are safe, you're not entering the traffic, other areas where you might get injured. We'd always say that obviously take as many images as you can of your vehicle and the other person's vehicle. If you've got any concerns, it might be worthwhile trying to take images of the, the other driver as well. Okay, so I'm just going to talk you through the images we require so we can send them off to the insurance company. Um, the first image is the, the front of the vehicle, which is central at the front, showing the registration number. Then if you move to the driver's side, showing the front and the driver's side of the vehicle. Then move over to the passenger side, showing the front and the passenger side of the vehicle. Then move around to the back of the vehicle, showing the centre of the rear of the vehicle with the registration number. Then moving again over to the driver's side, showing the rear and the driver's side of the vehicle. And then over to the passenger side corner, showing the rear and the passenger side of the vehicle. Um, following that, a picture of the chassis number, uh, which is normally located on the left hand side of the front windscreen. Um, there's normally a black board around the screen with a little window in there with a long number. That is your chassis number and a clear picture of that. And then a picture of the uh, mileage reading. Um, this is all required for valuation purposes, which the insurance company use uh, so they can value the vehicle accurately uh, to reflect the repair costs. Uh, pictures are required of the actual damage to the vehicle. Um, an overall picture is showing the whole damage and then close-up images showing the detail of the damage to try and establish the extent of the damage uh, you know, where possible. Um, following that, if you need any further assistance or you're not sure, just pick up the phone and give us a call and we'll happily talk you through it all and, and assist you in sending the pictures over to us. Never accept my liability at the scene of an accident. The insurance companies will stipulate that. We recommend you don't do that either. Exchange details, make sure you get the details of the third party. Get as much information as you possibly can. Landlines, mobiles, emails, so that when you do make a claim, you've got everything you need. If your vehicle's involved in an accident, it's not your fault. Again, Holcroft have got the support of a network of companies that will look to put in a like-for-like -like vehicle in the event of an accident. So again, if you're driving a Volvo um, and it's a seven-seater, you don't want to be put into a 
12 and Fiesta, they were looked to put you in a like for like vehicle so that you are not put out or your vehicles being repaired. It's, it's vitally important that when you, if you're involved in an accident, that you do, where possible, return to an approved accident repair centre because we want to replace the parts that need to be replaced. We don't want to be repairing something just for the sake of reducing costs. Many repairers are approved for insurance companies and it's all about controlling cost. We're not looking to control costs, we're looking to repair your car correctly and as I said earlier, back to the pre-accident condition. So therefore, when you get your vehicle back, it's right. If you decide you want to sell your vehicle at some point, it's not going to be affected. The residual value will not be affected by the fact you've had the repair. And I'd say 99.9% of the time, no one will know that your vehicle's been repaired anyway because of the type of work we do and the way in which we repair vehicles. Thank you for your time.